Have you ever wondered what the universe would look like if Jupiter and Saturn collided? Imagine two celestial giants, Jupiter and Saturn, the largest and second largest planets in our solar system careening towards each other in a cataclysmic event that would redefine the very fabric of our universe. It's a thought that seems to be plucked straight from the pages of a science fiction novel, yet it's one that has the capacity to stir up a sense of awe and intrigue in us all. Let's first get to know our behemoths a bit better. Jupiter, the gas giant, is the largest planet in our solar system. It's over 11 times the diameter of Earth, boasting a swirling mass of gas and clouds. Its most recognizable feature, the Great Red Spot, is a storm that has raged on its surface for at least 300 years. It's a planet of extremes, with winds reaching speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. Then we have Saturn, the ringed marvel. Although it's slightly smaller than Jupiter, Saturn is still about nine times the diameter of Earth. It's most famous for its spectacular ring system, composed of ice particles and rocky debris. Saturn's lighter density means that if you could somehow find a bathtub big enough, it would float. The two planets, though both gas giants, are distinct in their own right. Jupiter, with its massive size and powerful storms, versus Saturn, with its iconic rings and lighter density. Yet what if these two titans were to collide? What kind of cosmic fireworks would we witness? Of course, the chances of such an event occurring are astronomically low. The vastness of space and the precise mechanisms of orbital physics keep these two giants safely apart. But it's fascinating to ponder the what-ifs of our universe, isn't it? Now let's delve deeper into the science behind such a celestial event. What happens when two gas giants collide? It's not as simple as you might think. Let's dig into the nitty-gritty of the science behind such a colossal event. To start, it's important to understand that Jupiter and Saturn, the two largest planets in our solar system, are gas giants. This means they are primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, much like our sun, with dense cores of rock and metal. Now, imagine these two behemoths on a collision course. What happens? It's not like a car crash where two solid objects collide and crumple. Instead, picture two massive clouds of gas merging together. The gravitational pull between the two planets would be immense, each one tugging at the other, stretching and distorting their shapes. This is where the Roche limit comes into play. Named after a French astronomer Edouard Roche, this is the distance within which a celestial body, held together only by its own gravity, will disintegrate due to a second celestial body's tidal forces exceeding the first body's gravitational self-attraction. As the planets approach each other, they'd reach a point where they are within each other's Roche limit. The tidal forces exerted by the planets on each other would be so strong that they would begin to tear each other apart. But, it's not as simple as one planet swallowing the other, the planet's outer layers would likely be stripped away first, possibly forming a ring of gas and debris around the combined core. This destructive dance would continue with the planets spiraling closer and closer until they finally merge into a single, larger, gas giant. This process, however, would not be quick. It could take hundreds, if not thousands of years for the two planets to fully merge, and the energy released in the process would be so immense it would make our most powerful nuclear weapons look like firecrackers in comparison. So, a collision would not be a simple bump and bounce, but rather a complex, destructive dance. Imagine the unimaginable, the moment of impact. As Jupiter and Saturn collide, the universe holds its breath, waiting to witness an event unlike any other in our solar system's history. At the point of impact, the colossal forces at play would lead to the creation of shockwaves. These wouldn't be your everyday shockwaves, oh no. We're talking about shockwaves on a scale that's hard to fathom, powerful enough to ripple through the fabric of space itself. Picture a stone thrown into a pond, but instead of water, it's the cosmos itself that's disturbed. Then comes the ejection of mass. The sheer energy of the collision would be so immense that it would literally tear the planets apart, causing chunks of their mass to be flung out into space. These fragments, some as small as dust particles, others as large as mountains or even continents, would be catapulted into the cosmos, becoming wandering nomads of the galaxy. And what of the two gas giants themselves? Well, they'd be no more. In their place, a swirling vortex of gas and dust, a violent maelstrom whirling and spinning as it gradually settles down, but here's where things get even more interesting. You see, the energy produced from the collision might, just might, be enough to ignite a new sun. Yes, you heard that right, a new sun. Right here in our very own solar system, the immense heat and pressure from the collision could potentially kickstart nuclear fusion 
leading to the birth of a second son. It's not a certainty, of course, these things are hard to predict, but the possibility, it's there. In the aftermath of such a cataclysmic event, our solar system would never be the same. A new celestial order would be established, a new cosmic dance choreographed. From the debris of the old, a new order would emerge, forever changing the face of our solar system. The universe, as always, would carry on indifferent to the drama unfolding within it. But what about us? How would this cosmic catastrophe affect Earth? As we've seen, the collision of Jupiter and Saturn would be a spectacle of unimaginable proportions. But the impact wouldn't be isolated to these two gas giants. Earth, our home, would also feel the effects of this celestial event. First, the gravitational disturbances. Jupiter and Saturn are the two largest planets in our solar system. They exert a significant gravitational pull that helps keep other celestial objects, including Earth, in their respective orbits. The merging of these two planets would undoubtedly cause a shift in gravitational forces. While this wouldn't fling Earth out of its orbit, it could cause slight alterations. These shifts might result in changes in our planet's axial tilt, potentially leading to more extreme seasons. Picture winters colder than you've ever experienced and summers so hot they're almost unbearable. Our calendar, based on our current orbit and axial tilt, might need to be recalibrated. Now let's talk about changes in the night sky. Jupiter and Saturn are some of the brightest objects we can see. Their collision would create an intense flash of light, visible, even in daylight. For a time our night sky would be transformed, the new planet shining like a second sun. What's more, the debris from the collision could lead to a series of meteor showers. As fragments from the collision make their way towards Earth, they'd burn up in our atmosphere, creating spectacular light shows. However, larger fragments could potentially pose a threat. If they were big enough to survive the journey through our atmosphere, they could cause significant damage upon impact. And finally, let's not forget the psychological and sociological implications. How would humanity react to such a drastic change in our cosmic neighborhood? Would it unite us as a species, or would it create further divisions? In the face of such a cosmic event, life on Earth could change dramatically. In the grand scheme of the universe, we're just tiny specks on a blue dot, but even tiny specks can feel the ripples of cosmic events. And what about the long-term effects? What would become of our solar system? Imagine, if you will, a cosmic ballet. Planets and moons, asteroids and comets, all dancing in tune to the gravitational pull of the Sun. Now take two of the largest dancers, Jupiter and Saturn, and let them collide. The shockwaves of their dance would echo throughout the solar system, forever altering the celestial choreography. But what would this new dance look like? Well, there are several theories. One of these suggests the birth of an entirely new planet. Yes, you heard right, a new planet. The unimaginable energy released from the collision could potentially compress and heat the gases of Jupiter and Saturn, creating a new rocky planet. This planet could even have rings, a beautiful gaseous tribute to the former giants. Another theory suggests a complete reshuffling of our solar system. The gravitational balance that keeps our planets in their orbits would be shaken. Like balls on a billiard table, planets could be knocked out of their paths, sent spiraling into new and unpredictable orbits. The impact could even be so severe that some planets are ejected from the solar system entirely. Yet another theory posits that the collision could trigger a cascade of smaller collisions. The debris from Jupiter and Saturn could pelt other planets and moons, causing them to fracture or even break apart. This could result in a new asteroid belt, a swirling ring of cosmic rubble as a constant reminder of the cataclysmic event. But of course, these are all just theories. The truth is, we simply don't know what would happen. The collision of Jupiter and Saturn is an event beyond our current comprehension. It's a cosmic mystery that challenges our understanding of the universe and our place within it. In the end, the collision of Jupiter and Saturn would reshape our celestial neighborhood. So, what can we learn from this hypothetical scenario? The cosmos is a vast and complex tapestry of mystery and wonder, and it's these what-if questions that push the boundaries of our understanding. This thought experiment, as far-fetched as it may seem, provides an avenue for us to explore and deepen our knowledge about the universe we inhabit. When we entertain the idea of Jupiter and Saturn colliding, we aren't just indulging in a flight of fancy. We're testing our understanding of celestial mechanics, the physics of planetary collisions, and the potential effects of such catastrophic events on other bodies within the solar system, including our own Earth. 
It's easy to view our place in the cosmos as static and unchanging, but the reality is far from it. Our solar system is a dynamic, ever-evolving system with planets, asteroids, comets and other celestial bodies all moving and interacting in a delicate cosmic ballet. Understanding these movements and interactions is crucial for predicting future events and for our long-term survival. Moreover, these thought experiments help us appreciate the fragility and the preciousness of our home planet. They remind us of the cosmic forces at play that can, in an instant, reshape entire worlds. It's a humbling perspective that underscores our responsibility to safeguard our planet and our species. In addition, such scenarios also inspire technological and scientific advancements. They spur us to develop better telescopes, more accurate computer models and even consider the feasibility of planetary defense strategies. On a broader scale, these what-if explorations are a testament to our innate curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. They embody our desire to understand the universe around us and our place within it. They remind us that we are part of a larger, cosmic story, and that our journey of discovery is far from over. While such a collision remains in the realm of the hypothetical, it provides a fascinating glimpse into the dynamic nature of the universe. The universe is full of wonders and mysteries waiting to be explored. We've embarked on an incredible journey today, diving into the realm of the unknown and the unthinkable, imagining what might happen if the two largest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, collided. We've delved into the science behind such a collision, discussing the immense gravitational forces at play, the unimaginable energy released, and the cataclysmic shock waves that would ripple through our solar system. We've talked about the impact and aftermath of this event, painting a picture of a cosmic spectacle of exploding gases, debris flung far and wide, and a new celestial body formed from the remnants of these two gas giants. We've considered the effects on our own planet, Earth, hypothesizing about the potential changes in our night sky, the possible meteor showers from the debris, and even the potential shifts in our own orbit. We've looked at the long-term consequences of such an event, speculating on how it might reshape our understanding of our own solar system and the universe beyond. And finally we've taken a glimpse into the future, pondering how this event might affect space exploration and our ongoing quest to understand the universe. We've underscored the importance of scientific curiosity and exploration, reminding ourselves that even though this scenario is highly unlikely, the act of imagining it and working through the potential outcomes helps us learn more about our universe and our place within it. While we may never witness the collision of Jupiter and Saturn, it's a fascinating thought experiment that reminds us of the wonders and possibilities that lie beyond our own planet. It encourages us to keep asking questions, to keep exploring, and to continue seeking out the mysteries of the universe, for it is in this pursuit of knowledge that we truly find ourselves.